Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the three things that are in front of me and something else that I got the other day. Now, I didn't want to do another unboxing because it makes so much noise. So I took them out of the packaging and I'll just show them because <laughs> it's not conducive to that microphone. Anyway, uh, the first thing that uh, I wanted to uh, talk about is this mouse. And a while back, I had bought a, uh, uh, what was it called? A Logitech keyboard and mouse kit, and it was the 710. And it came with the 705 mouse. And I really liked the mouse, but I didn't like the keyboard. So I sent it back, and it was like, I think it was around $47 Canadian for it. And uh, so then I bought a uh, another uh, MK360 uh logitech uh, keyboard and mouse kit and i was using that and the mouse that comes with that is really small keyboard's pretty good but uh i've had one for a long time but they kind of changed something on it but i'll talk about that later that i'm not quite sure what's going on um but my original one like i i really like that one still and it's like seven or eight years old so what I ended up doing was I checked around to see how much these were. And these are anywhere from about $106 all the way down to about, uh, well, for a new one, $36. And so I thought, well, okay. I'll order one of the $36 ones. So that's what I did. I ordered a $36 one. But they had a, um, a warehouse deal on it. Um, I guess somebody may have sent it back. I'm, I'm not 100% positive. And it was only like around $18. So I ordered that one because they said that it was basically just a little bit of damage on the package. And there's a little crack right there, but that's the only thing I could find. So this is what I got. I got it and it actually came like brand new. Still had the batteries in the pack. Let's try and open this without making too, too much noise. As you can tell, it's my first time opening it. Sorry about that. I'll try to get rid of that. And then here's the mouse here. And here is the unifying little uh, dongle right there that's inside the mouse here. So it comes with the batteries, like it's supposed to. And uh, it comes with the proper dongle on the inside. So it's even got the plastic on it and everything. So it looks like it's brand new and, it's, and I really like the shape of it and whatnot. So it's, it's a really nice mouse and it's a laser mouse too. So it's, uh, it works very well. So uh, the other thing that it has on it is it has this little button right here. And if you, if you leave it up, you can spin that. It makes it go really fast scrolling. It's still going from, from me doing that. So it can scroll really fast up and down. Or if you press it down, then you feel the tick on it. And it acts like a normal mouse. So you got fast scrolling and regular scrolling. And then on the side, you have your extra two buttons there and there, which is really nice. And uh, and then you've also got your three buttons on your, on your wheels. So you get the going straight down to the left and to the right for scrolling and stuff and whatnot. So like I say, it's a nice mouse. I really liked it. And 
I mean, you can't beat it for $18. That's less expensive than I paid for this mouse, mouse which is the uh, M510. So anyway, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing that I have is this, which is the Sennheiser HD201. And it's a set of headphones. And again, it was on the um, uh, the uh, deal store. So it was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a warehouse deal. And this one, regular price is $109.99 Canadian. I'm saying all Canadian prices, but I will put in the show notes, the Canadian and the US prices. Now, the reason why I bought this one was because the deal was right around the same time as they had this deal. And they had one that, that was, they were selling from there. And it was, uh, it looks like it was 3501 But then at that time they had a percentage off and it only was like 20 or $21 for it. And I thought, well, I might as well try it and see. Because, I mean, their regular price is 110 And I got it for around... 20 or 21 dollars canadian so i said well why not and all they said was something was wrong with the box and it even says inspected by amazon and the only thing that i could find on the box was a little dent there and some scrapes on the side and a little rip there and that's it i could not find anything else wrong with it and when i opened it it looked like it was brand new like it was never opened so, uh, I'll I'll give that a go. This is what the this is what it looks like here. Sorry about that. Hit the thing. This is what they look like here. So I took it out of the box just to see, and it has uh, a nine point eight foot cord, which I really needed because the thing I had before only had like a five foot cord, and it was running from my monitor right to me, and that was it. And, I didn't have a lot of room, so I thought this might be really nice. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know what the response is on it. Um, I think what I'll do is I will make a short video on this after I try it out and, and see how it goes. So look forward to that one. Now this, I kept wondering if I should order this or not. And whenever I said that I didn't want to uh, get another, try another camera because it just, what I was getting wasn't very good uh, for the price that I can afford. Um, these, um, it's a set of microphones again. And it's, uh, they're made by Newer. And it doesn't say what the name is there. And... Uh, like on the uh, website because I'm, I'm looking at Amazon right now but it has interchangeable capsules so you can have them each one of them as omnidirectional cardioid or supercardioid so it only opens that much so I'll go that way there so this is it here and they're called the NW410 on it now, the specifications are, well, the three different types of pony, uh, polar uh, pattern, which is, they call it uni, super, and omnidirectional. Frequency response is 30 hertz to 18 kilohertz. Sensitivity is 38 plus or minus 3 dB. Output impedance is 100 ohms. Self noise is 24 dBA. Now that's high, so I'm gonna have to have a listen on that and see what it sounds like. Because the newer NW7000 only has a 16 uh, dBA self noise, 
So that's quite a difference. Now the maximum SPL uh, is uh, at sound pressure level is 135 dB and signal noise is 70 dB and then the power requirements you, you need phantom power anywhere from 9 volts to 52 volts and they talk a little bit about like what they're used for now it's another instrument microphone so I'm trying those out because they're much less expensive than shotgun microphones so this is the only way I can try them is by ordering them getting them and seeing what they sound like and if I don't like them send them back that's it that's all I can do so that's what I'm going to do I will make a uh, video specifically on this and hopefully that'll be tonight and uh, this is the microphone here sorry for the noise here but uh, it's a nice it's a nice mic uh, it's nice and heavy uh, it looks like it's made very well and basically to change the capsule on the top you do this this one here is the cardioid pattern because there's a little print on the side there this one is the super cardioid because it has the the uh, the type of pattern on the front that shows super cardioid and this is what I want to use so we'll put this one on and then this one is omnidirectional there it's just got a big circle so it shows it's omnidirectional and this one's got like the heart shape and this has got like a figure eight but it has uh, a bigger lobe on the front and a smaller lobe on the back and that shows us it's uh, super cardioid so it comes with the little foam for uh, for wind noise and pop filter and then it also comes with the uh, uh, little uh, mount there for the, uh, the microphone holder so so like I say that's the stuff that I'm going to try out and uh, hopefully I will have a video on that tomorrow so we'll close that one up Well, that's pretty much what I have for today. Don't forget that I will make a small video on this after I've used it for a week or so, just to let you know like how good they are because they were such a good price and just want to make sure that they sound right and all that sort of stuff. And then I'll, I'll find a little bit more about the specifications on it and I'll tell you then. And I will be making a comparison video with uh, two other microphones that I have here with uh, the uh, newer, uh, what was it, NW410, I think it was, uh, with these ones here. And uh, I'll try to do that today so that uh, I can have it out tomorrow. So if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. If uh, you like the content, then uh, please subscribe. I want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye.